Hello and welcome to today's lesson on solving vector problems. Just to begin with, we are going to do a quick recap on what was covered last week. In your book, make a note of the colour you think the answer is going to be, and then when the time is done, see if you were correct. Write CE in terms of A and B. Write GC in terms of A and B. Write HF in terms of A and B. Write FL in terms of A and B. Write AN in terms of A and B. Write EC in terms of A and B. Write FD in terms of A and B. Today's lesson, we're going to look at finding resultant vectors, using ratios to solve vector problems, and then solving vector problems where there are midpoints involved. Now, civil engineers use vectors in road design to model the movement of a vehicle traveling along a curved section of road, remembering that vectors tell us movement, not our position. Now, most of your vector exam questions are gonna follow a two-part format. The first part is gonna be finding a relatively easy vector, and the second part is gonna be finding a harder vector that uses a ratio of the vector you found in part A. Time for an example. PQRS is a parallelogram. N is the point on SQ, such that S to N, N to Q is three to two. Part A, like we said, is always gonna be a bit easier. I'm gonna work out the expression from S to Q in terms of AB. The direct route is obviously this route here, but I don't have any information about that. So the route I'm gonna take is to go from S to P and then P to Q. I'm going backwards along that vector P to S, which means then I need to have a minus B plus a so i'm going to go backwards from s to p and then forwards from p to q part b i want to express nr in the terms of a and b again similar um, path this time sq is used in part a so i kind of want to go in that direction so i'm going to keep the direction i'm going to go from n to q and then q to r now we don't have any information about n to q at all but we do know from the question that SN and Q is in the ratio of three to two. Now I could start by writing the three and two, but this only becomes really helpful when I remember that ratios are to do with parts of an amount. And that ratio means I've got three fifths here and two fifths here. So what I'm saying is I've got two fifths of S to Q plus Q to R. Now that's still not that helpful. So I don't know anything about Q to R unless I remember about this keyword parallelogram. Now, because I've got a parallelogram, that means that P to S is the same as Q to R, which means that Q to R is the vector B. I then just need to fill in all of that information. I know that I've got two fifths of minus B plus A plus B. Expanding that means I've got minus two fifths of B plus two fifths of A plus B, which means I've got two fifths A plus three fifths B. And then to make that look a bit prettier, I've factored out the fifth, which means I've got a fifth 2a plus 3b. Now it's your turn. Given the information, can you work out the following two vectors? Pause the video now to give yourself a go. So working this through in exactly the same way, I'm first going to draw on my information. 
I've got a quarter here and three quarters here. I want to go from A and then up to X, which means I've got minus A plus a quarter of O to B, which means I've got minus A plus a quarter of A plus B, which means I've got minus A plus a quarter A plus a quarter B, which means I have minus three quarters A plus a quarter of B. Again, I can factor out that quarter if I want and have that as minus 3a plus b. Similarly with the second question, I want to go from o to y, so I need to remember that this is 2 fifths here and this is 3 fifths here. I want to go from o to y, so I've got a plus 2 fifths ab, which means I've got a plus 2 fifths minus a plus b, a minus 2 fifths a plus 2 fifths b, which gives me 3 fifths a plus 2 fifths b. That's it for today. Can you complete the worksheet to determine the vectors given? You don't have to print out the worksheet, but obviously if drawing a path using your finger on your screen is helpful, please do so and make sure you write down the path you hope to take. There is then a challenge today using midpoints. If you have any questions, email me. Good luck.